This dude, they let him go. And this dude's getting ready to fight the cop. <laughs> Shut up, y'all. He does live right there, too. He's parked right out in front of his house. That's him right there and that who was arrested. See him walking around the front of the car to get in his car? It's funny that his girlfriend is a cop, too. A <laughs> Philly cop. The girl getting in the passenger side, right there. The white pants, she's a cop. There's like fucking, tw oh, sorry for question. There's like 20 cops. That one white shirt. White shirt means he's a supervisor. Oh, see him in the front of the car? He's trying to rumble the cop. <laughs> Well, that's my next door neighbor. Story is in a situation. Look, there's six cop cars, a couple you can't see. Uh, they, he, he must have just, they must have followed him until he stopped in front of his house. And they actually know these people right there. That's the people that were pulled over in the front of the blue car. And long story short, supposedly they, they pulled him over because the car came back stolen. But the guy, his wife, who just got into the president's seat, is, I think, they think is a Philly cop. So he's saying that the cop pulled his him. That's in the white, that's the person you saw girls, his girl's mom. The cops are getting ready to leave, see? Wow. Uh, yeah. He needs to let it go. Cops sometimes just pull guns. Be, oh, they're going to follow him. I guarantee it. And then they're going to look for some, some reason to arrest him. That's how Philly cops are. Like back in the day, like say you do stuff like that. Instead of arresting you, they take you underneath the 95 bridge or a bridge or some dark alley and they beat you up and just leave you there instead of arresting you because you because you were resisting the arrest of damn they cleared out <laughs> Philly cops don't play oh it's coming in the morning I don't know what the deal was